The coronavirus has claimed one more life in South Korea, and the number of cases is now well over 700. With the details, we have our Hong Yu on the line. So, Yu, another death here in Korea, and of the new confirmed cases, most of them are connected to the church based in Daegu. That's right, Devin. Another 161 new cases of the coronavirus were confirmed overnight, bringing the total number of cases to 763. The majority of the newly confirmed cases, at least 129 cases, were from Daegu based members of a religious group known as Shincheonji. Out of all confirmed cases nationwide, 74.6% of them are either related to this religion or to Tongdo Denam Hospital, where at least 112 people have been infected. A 62 year old man diagnosed with COVID-19 died on Sunday, raising the total number of deaths to seven as of Monday morning. He was hospitalized, hospitalized at Tongdo Denam Hospital, where the country's first coronavirus death happened. With this, the number of deaths at Tongdo Denam Hospital that have been linked to the virus has risen to five. Well, uh, Korea's health authorities are working around the clock to contain the virus, of course. Safe to say, though, concerns among the public are at a new high. What are the authorities planning to do? As the government has raised the COVID-19 alert to highest level serious in its four-tier system, the Korea Centers for Disease Control will distribute revised prevention rules for citizens. Those rules include not going to school or work if one has a high fever or symptoms of pneumonia. It also advises pregnant women and people over 65 years old to avoid places with large numbers of people. The Korea Centers for Disease Control's Central Disaster Headquarters announced it will delay the start of the new school year for a week from March 2nd to March 9th as a preventive measure. This applies to all kindergarten, elementary, middle and high schools, as well as special needs schools nationwide. Back to you. All right, Hong Yu reporting there. Thank you for that.